Hello primates, welcome to the zoo. This is the second part of a bottomless cup of coffee. A series of opinions on sentience rights versus religious tyranny's insistence that we regress to the reproductive strategies of our rodent ancestors, encouraging the inevitability of a lemming cliff dive while running away from the terrible taboo <gasps> eugenics. Abrahamisms are not in any way something that should remain hands-off to expose as what they really are. Agrarian social devices designed to empower an elite, whom I like to call Morlocks, who enslave peasants, whom I like to call Eloy, and breed plentiful strongbacks with weak minds to tend the food supply care, and or to be blood sacrifice when, in times of conquest or defense, when a tribal territory has been exhausted of its resources. One has to give them some credit though. Some of the growth over the centuries, uh, the Eloy peasants are finally getting wise as to their master Morlock's apathy for their personal blood sacrifices in times of war. Good for the Eloy. Awareness of the rest of the amoral structure of their invisible prison has as a mass thus far eluded them. Misogyny, for instance. Males have all the privileges, get excessive praise for achievements, and little of the blame for society's numerous failures. Why? Because we bred ourselves to be gender dimorphic. It's that simple. But it makes it oh so hard to deprogram the goat herder, let alone the spear chucker, out of we testosterone-laden dickheads. What's women's excuse? Every time a mother programs sexist idiocies into both their boys and their girls, what is going to be the result? Another generation of humans domesticated by Stone Age memes to be hung up on sex. Humans were the first domesticated animals. Think about that. And just as we have had to overcome the malware and crossed wires of prior generations in order to maintain our adaptive flexibility, we will be constantly evolving as a species or we will die out. We are dominated in mass by those of the religious mind who may be exaggeratedly but aptly stereotyped to a broad range of degrees as zombie automatons. We more aware peeps feel concerned with the fact that those who base their acts and decisions on both the self-imposed and internally imposed delusions may someday come to a collective realization that as meat puppets they could be defined legally by us as not fully sentient. Hmm. Now where have I heard that kind of thing before? Their anger at this dehumanizing has been and is now being collected and redirected unbeknownst to them at cinching down the yoke and harness that enslaves them. They are fear driven animals and they will defend themselves again from we with a clear advantage of a greater possession of the facts. Even now there are mighty Morlock declaring to their branded Eloy that they must have fear of we who are more aware than they are and that atheists are not fully human because we do not share their God delusion. Do you smell something burning? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Link in the sidebar. And we'll pick it up there again the next time with the next bottomless cup of coffee. Enjoy your life. The only thing not borrowed from those yet to be.